G'day, Sam here. Saturday 9th of June, about 11 a.m. Um, short sleeve weather again. Not a good day for solar. It's pretty much been like this all week while I've been away. Let's have a look, I've been away for two weeks so about 67 millimeters of rain millimeters of rain I should say just over two and a half inches it's been wet all week my parents have told me um, and I did something really silly when I was here well, actually there's something I didn't do, it turned out to be really silly. I didn't turn off the satellite modem and the Wi-Fi router and the water pump when I left. Uh, the water pump probably just cycles every few hours just for a couple of seconds. There must be some air in the line or something like that. The Wi-Fi router and the satellite modem are using about 60 watts. So when it's on 24 seven, that starts to add up. So what I've done I've disconnected these two panels and I've hooked up I think it was these top three three of these panels temporarily they're the 260 watt panels so I've got my earth stake in got the earth lead hooked up to that should I get some cable ties out here a bit later on just to hold this cabling up I'll just jury rig this this is only a temporary solution. Let's have a look underneath. Oh, look at that. There's a tomato. So the frost has pretty much knocked them, but there's still a bit of green fruit there. Look at that. Keep that for later. So there's my bus bar for the earth. Bottom lead on the left, that goes to the inverter. Bottom lead on the right goes to the kid charge controller. And the top one goes to the earth stake. Um, when I got here last night, the batteries are on 24.8 volts. You can see they're on about the same there. It's about 35, 40% state of charge. I haven't got the solar panels turned on at the moment, just so I could get a true reading of the battery voltage. And now let's turn this on. So I've got those three panels in series. We need 8.2 amps, 207 watts. Eighty-nine volts coming in. Twenty-five point four to the battery. Now theoretically I could hook up another one of those panels, and I may actually do that. So clarity and overcast, 217 watts. All right, it's Saturday, 16th of July, 2016. Uh, you can see the panels are the two kilowatt away is fairly shaded. So there's a bit of shade coming in from that tree over in the paddock next door. Not much I can do about that. That'll improve as we get closer to the summer solstice. Um, so let's, let's go underneath the house and we'll have a look, see what a week of these uh, three panels hooked up has done. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I think Wednesday was pretty crappy weather down here. Uh, but I know that Thursday, Friday, and definitely today, today's been... Beautiful weather, absolutely beautiful. Clear skies 
I mean, look at that. Uh, we've been working, killing sheep today. You know, short sleeves weather. Absolutely beautiful day. So you can see my LEDs there. The top one received full charge in the last week. And they're currently at float. Only 25 watts coming in at the moment due to the shading. They've produced 1.1 kilowatt hours today. Batteries are just over 26.4 volts. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in another video.